given, that's how we live it. Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed. What is up guys, welcome back to another video. We are reviewing the current podium vehicle for this week, the Comet SR. And it's it's a really surprising car actually. I quite like this car. So let's take a look at the interior. So the interior for this car is quite nice actually for a sports car. And this car is in the sport class. It's an upgraded version of the Comet pretty much. And it's quite, quite the lump of money. Um... I believe it's 850k, which is a, it's, it's a fair deal. So driving it, it's really good handling pretty much. It also has pretty good brakes. As you can see, uh, it takes corners pretty well, but that could be because it has a wing and that's just me badly driving again. But um, yeah, it's pretty decent, as you can see. And you can also drift it a little bit, but it's, uh, it's a little bit too good of a driver, to be honest, uh, to drift. So let's take a look at the customizations this car has. It has front bumpers, and the option for that is the primary splitter, also the secondary splitter, and the competition splitter, which is the biggest change from all the splitters. For the rear bumpers, we have the stock rear bumper, the primary rear bumper, and the secondary rear bumper. Let's move on to the exhaust. We have twin exhausts, angled exhausts as well, which are pretty cool as well and oval shaped exhausts alongside titanium tipped exhausts which you will see as well pretty interesting customizations you can definitely do a lot with this car as well by the way so for chassis we have primary intakes which are on the side as you can see and also secondary intakes as well for the fenders, we have some options. We can just extend the arches, which is a all right customization. It gives a little bit more effect. So for the hood, we have secondary hood and also the option to put a carbon hood on, which matches quite nice with the roof of the car, if you choose to keep it the same. But you can change the roof, talking about the roof, which can be primary, or you can also change that to the secondary color that you have equipped as well. For the skirt options, we have stock skirts and primary skirts and we also have a secondary version of them skirts from previous and competition skirts to go along with this competition front bumper for the spoilers we have some options here so we have no spoiler which the car stock doesn't come with that i believe but then we also have the stock spoiler and the carbon stock st stock spoiler primary spoiler and a secondary spoiler alongside a carbon spoiler as per usual with most cars we also have a primary race spoiler and a secondary race version of that and a carbon race version of that. So you've got all the options as per usual. And that's all the customization for this car. Pretty good car. It's surprising how good it is um, of a car actually. And it's a nice looking Porsche. It's a more modern looking version of the Comet, which I can't complain about. So let's see what doors you can open uh, on this vehicle. So if I press all, we have got the frunk, which is the uh, front trunk, I guess. Both doors and the um, engine bay, which is in the back, which is a strange looking engine for the back of a car. Weird, but um, I guess it's kind of like a kit car, but it's a Porsche. It's weird. What do I rate this car out of 10? It's not going to be too great for racing, however, it's not horrendous, so it's going to be pretty decent. I'm going to give this a 7. It's pretty good for that, but it doesn't race very well, but it does look good. Got a good speed um, and all that stuff. Is it worth 850k? I think that's what it's worth anyway. It might be a bit more, might be a bit less. Um, yeah, I would buy it for 850k. Um, but is it worth it if you've already got a normal Comet? Probably not, unless you want both of them then go ahead and yeah but it's um pretty decent car and i wouldn't say stay away from it but that is it for this review and showcase um if you did enjoy make sure to like um and you found this helpful also like as well and if you're new subscribe really helps the channel out and that'll also tell me if you want me to upload more videos like this 
But without further ado, that is it for today's video. Goodbye.